dear students today i am going to solve this problem which is related to ray optics reflection concept you can just see the lengthy method given in the books how can you avoid this lengthy method and bypass with the shortcut method so that you will be the fastest student in india then you have to learn a small concept here how can you solve this problem in fraction of seconds without even holding this pen also but to make you understand how to use pen so let us see here this is a mirror okay so light ray will enter strike the mirror and gets reflected back you all know angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection similarly this side glancing angle this side glancing angle both are going to be same here okay so how are you going to solve the problem here according to the problem it is given that the light ray enters from this side strike one mirror this is a mirror which is given and this is one more mirror which is given so light ray enters falls in one mirror in such a way that uh, this is p and this is q and this is r and this is yes okay so let us see what is going to happen now okay so it is entering in this direction it gets reflected back and again it gets reflected back by the two mirrors like this uh, it is said that for example this is om and this is n it is said that om is parallel to pq and similarly similarly it is also said that pq uh, i mean on is also parallel to rs this is r and this is going to be s here okay as these two are parallel let me solve the problem in fraction of seconds as pq and uh, uh, pq and uh, or are parallel we can write this is angle theta means this is also angle theta these are called as corresponding angles if this is theta this is also going to be theta because these two are called as glancing angles similarly it is said that on is parallel to this rs that's why we can also take if this is theta this is also going to be theta these two are called as corresponding angles if this is theta this is also going to be theta because these are called as glancing angles okay then r4 now you're getting now theta plus theta plus theta is equal to 180 degrees this is called as angle sum property therefore 3 theta is equal to 180 degrees theta is equal to 180 by 3 which is equal to 60 degrees is going to be your answer as such a simple method is used to 